What's going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Now today we have info on the next Super Evolution on JP and I did make a video a little earlier today talking about all the new stuff that was coming including uh, Luffy, Sanji, Germa Crew Unit, Sweet Commander Unit, those legends we are likely going to be getting information. Tomorrow at news time should be the official announcement of the Sugo Fest which will give us a little bit of a brief on what their captain and specials are. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that of course, but then tomorrow probably around this time tomorrow is when we'll be getting a data download with all of the new characters and we'll be able to see all the new information regarding that but prior to that uh, we've got a data download on JP which gave us the information for six plus Capone gang badge which is wicked because we did see that you know that there was a new Capone listed on the boosted event and we're like you know what Capone is that we don't even know what it is so the only real logical explanation for it was that he was gonna get a super evolution and he, and he got one which is dope so in this video today we're gonna talk about him we'll discuss the differences between his current form and his previous form and then we'll talk about some characters that actually got a huge buff from this because he kind of like indirectly buffs uh, a handful of units which is really really good so first of all here is the artwork for capone now personally speaking i'm not the biggest fan of the artwork i think it's a little it just looks odd because it's it's like off center because you got like the huge big father of i think just cut capone out of this artwork and then make the big father just the central unit i, I don't understand why why they decided to design it this way. It's very, very strange. Um, I mean, I, it's, it's, it's weird. Either way, um, Capone, he's an int shooter driven. Those do not change. Previously, he was also int shooter driven. So um, that's fine. In terms of his Super Evolution skulls, you only need a single int skull. So he's, he doesn't have like a specific island or anything. Um, from what we've seen right now, the data download did not input like a Sugo Fest for him specifically to get him guaranteed, which I do think is a little bit weird. But yeah, he's not available currently, like in the suit. Well, he's, he's available to pull in a Sugo Fest, but there's no like Super Evolution Sugo Fest to get him guaranteed on like multi, you know, three, four, or five, whatever it is. Uh, and then they reveal his captain and special ability. So let's go ahead and talk about them. Uh, massive shout out to Koala san for the translations here. So his captain effect, we'll go ahead and state he boosts shooter and driven characters' attack by four times. 1.35 health, shooter and driven characters will treat Psy and Int Orbs as beneficial, and then heal 0.75 times his recovery at the end of each turn for every perfect that you hit during that turn. So immediately, if you guys understand what the old Capone does, you can see an immediate difference here, and that's the fact that he now boosts driven characters. That did not happen previously. Uh, prior to his Super Evolution, he was only a shooter captain, um, and the multiplier has changed. Previously, it was a 3.75 times boost. So on the database right here, we've got Capone up right here. So this is his original form, again, as I said, into shooter driven. Uh, captain effect... Uh, where was it? Yeah, it was 1.35 health. Yeah, so it was the same as before. Okay, um, and he heals 0.75 times his recovery. And then previously, you could see you needed to have six shooter characters specifically on your team in order to get the 0.5 recovery every time you hit a perfect. So they've just dropped the condition and they've increased the multiplier, which is great. It means that no matter what, if you're running shooter characters or driven characters, doesn't matter. You're getting recovery every time you hit a perfect, which is a very, very big benefit. However, when you look at it, it's it's also kind of reminiscent of Halloween Ace once again, because Halloween Ace is a shooter and then a fighter captain, four times attack, uh, and then he, uh, Halloween Ace is a 1.5 captain, um, but Ace does not give you healing at the end of the turn, he gives you the inbuilt utility. So if we're just talking straight up captain effects for shooter teams, I still personally do prefer Halloween Ace for his captain effect, but... This Capone is no is no uh, slouch. Plus, he's now boosting Driven, so you can run some hybrid teams now, which is very, very cool. So let's talk about his special. For two turns, boost the attack of both Shooter and Driven characters by two times. That's already a big change. And then when there are six or more characters on your team, when you launch his special, he cuts your crew's health by 85% and then becomes Big Father. And the HP of Big Father is dependent on how much HP that you lost. So if it cuts by 85% and you lost, you know, 20 or 30,000 health, whatever HP that you lost becomes the Big Father's health. Now, Big Father's very cool for those of you who don't know what it's all about. Does it list it on the database? Uh, I don't 
think well it, it mentions some things here so while big father is active crew hp is unable to be reduced and becomes immune to blow away inflicted to the crew big father deactivates when the hp barrier is reduced to zero uh while in big father you cannot use uh captain swap or captain actions if a captain swap or action is already active you cannot transform into big father so there you go um so previously talking about his old special he was just a two times attack boost for shooter characters for one turn so now that they've made it for shooter and driven and it's a two times boost for two turns personally speaking i don't like this i would have preferred if it was a one turn 2.5 or 2.25 boost rather than a two turn boost i mean we've seen with like six plus robin for example with her special she's a two times attack booster for two turns for the cerebral class which is fine, but in a lot of instances, you don't need two turns of an attack boost. Either make it one turn or make it three turns, because two turns, it's just so super annoying, because you can use it on a stage four fight, and then with an enemy preemptive, you lose the attack boost. The only way that you could like carry it through is if you use like V2 Ray Dofi to lock your orbs and extend the duration of the buff, or if you used um, like V1 Kuzan, for example, but no one's really using those characters anymore. Uh, well, V2 Ray Dofi is still really good, but Kuzan, not so much. He doesn't really see that much play anymore. But either way, uh, that's the difference between the original Capone and the and the new Capone. So, new Capone, basically, he's slightly higher multipliers, slightly more recovery, and now he's just doing everything he was doing previously, but for, for, for driven characters as well. So, yeah, it's, it's average. I, I would have preferred a bigger buff, but it is what it is. I think it's still really cool that Capone at least was chosen for a super evolution. That's really cool. Um, four times attack, though, with that HP buff, I guess it's fine. You know, 4.25 would have been a little better because we've seen with more recent super evolutions they've actually gone kind of crazy but um those recent super evolutions that you know that got them like v2 Rayleigh um and like fujitora a couple months back or quite a quite a few months back now um those characters that got like massive upgrades to the captain effect had uh limit break expansions that buffed their captain as well so you know it, it is what it is unfortunately i would have preferred a little bit of high multiply with his captain effect but it's fine so that's capone uh looking pretty interesting but the thing about it is is capone actually in directly buffs a lot of other characters i've got a list here up on the side of characters i want to talk about here first of all is katakuri this guy who is going to be arriving on global probably within the next like month to two months so look forward to it this guy is really good but he's a low hp captain you need to be below 50 percent in order to get your um your huge boost of five times attack to int which is really good right um, and the thing about it is, is Capone is now, uh, going to be able to be used in a lot of different teams because this Katakuri is driven. So you can use the new Capone to not only boost his attack, but also reduce your crew's HP whilst applying Big Father. So you can get huge, huge boosts with this Katakuri. So that's one really good way of using the new Capone. Another character that I'm sure a lot of you guys probably would have thought by now, not Capone, sorry, no, I thought Capone, uh, Bullet, sorry, Bullet, who was I was trying to refer to, uh, Bullet is another unit that got indirectly buffed from this because he is also a driven character his captain ability boosts int and now you can use capone to um basically apply big father to tank damage you remember the big father effect can tank poison damage it can tank burn damage so if you're burnt or anything like that you can use his special to give your team an attack boost as well as tank any damage from that which is super interesting i like that um so bullet definitely got a buff from that and then the last character is sugar uh which is super interesting because she is a driven character as well but the thing about it is is when you use her special she makes characters become toys I'm pretty sure it won't work, but I wonder if the toys and the big father effect can stack. If they can stack, that's actually pretty huge. Being able to have such a huge defensive effect in big father, as well as being able to bypass enemy defenses, um, increasing your combo and everything that Sugar's able to do. Plus, Sugar, um, with her super type, enables you to get the uh, the 2.25 orb boost. So you can get like a two times attack boost with, um, with Capone, and then get an orb boost with Sugar. So, uh, if they can stack, that's a huge, huge, huge thing to, uh, to take into consideration there. Now, there's two other characters that I thought of that actually would get a really good buff from this. 
but unfortunately they're not really that good right now but potentially in the future when they get a super evolution we might be able to see some synergy there and those characters that i'm thinking of is shiki i mean shiki's not very good but potentially they might have an event in the future where like all the movie legends get a huge uh, super evolution something like that would be cool um this character isn't really that great but you know he's an int booster he's driven I don't know, maybe him, but another character that definitely needs a super evolution at some point is uh, is V2 Doflamingo, if I can find where he is, this guy right here. This guy with a super evolution would be insane. Uh, he's also a driven captain, of course, and he's got that overkill damage effect. So, you know, those are some characters that you might want to think of, uh, of thinking of using with this new Capone. Obviously, like Bato and Cavendish, for example, also gets a really good buff from this. Just the fact that, you know, Capone specifically was only centered around shooter characters, which shooters have never really been that top echelon tier of characters um only real back in the day when you know strong one ace was going around but now with the addition of the driven class boosting it, it's very very interesting so uh he has, he's got some pvp abilities as well but i'm not going to talk about them that much because i don't really know much about the pvp effects of capone i do know that capone was very popular in pvp and i think he actually did get slightly changed with his six plus so i think it's a pretty good buff to him which is good but that's going to wrap it up, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video today. And if you guys did, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all the content I post, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But other than that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.